another edition of Thursday's Weekly Action Stream. My name is Sammy. We are going to play some Fuel Fury in preparation for next episode. Uh, let's talk about how we got to this mess first. If you are just joining in to get like a quick catch up or you don't know or maybe even you forgot. Uh, so we get to this point. Uh, Liliana, um, I'm not going to go through like the prologue bits, any of that. We're just going to go over the, the Dante route specifically, right? So, um, what happens basically is that you get, uh, you get quote unquote attacked by a small child in a jacket. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, in that sense, you learn that, uh, you know, you're like, you're not safe at the, at the church. And so the, uh, the Falzones Kizale. take you into their manor and protect you. The entire time, obviously, you meet Dante. Dante is the very young head of the Falzone family. And uh, he is detaining you, I guess, in the very beginning. He's detaining you in his... You get, you get detained uh, in the Falzone manner. You kind of don't know why. You're constantly trying to figure out all of this information and, and sort of escape at the same time. And then uh, through your interactions of being in the Falzone manner, you get closer and closer to Dante and you realize that that sort of stern mafia demeanor is actually not everything that the character is about, right? And uh, halfway in, this is where we get sort of to the big spoiler of the story, so you can cover your ear for two minutes if you still want to play the, uh, the Dante story. You learn that the uh, Falzone family Here's the spoiler part, I should say. You learn that the Falzone family was not originally a mafia family, but a uh, family that was designed to uh, defend the sacred relics of, of the church. And uh, those sacred relics are, uh, if I recall correctly, sorry, it's been a week now. It's the blood of the Falzone and the key maiden. Yeah, and then the church uh, colludes with uh, the Lao Shu, which the Lao Shu are a foreign uh, mafia group, quote unquote, or they're a drug ring, drug slash slavery slash, you know, all of the bad things in the world ring. And um, the church has actually sided with them and sort of taken away the protections of the Falzone family, which the Falzone family were sort of designated historically to be defending Berlone and defending this, uh, this area, this area of Italy, because they are actually uh, not technically the an, an Italian city, but rather the part of, oh, they're like a papal state. So they're more tied to like sort of uh, the Vatican and the church more than they are tied to Italy itself. So uh, what happens after that, uh, after you learn all of that, is that you basically get to the point where uh, you get, you basically learn this is confirmed, and then literally right afterwards, uh, you get drugged by, uh, we are going to assume to be Nicola, and he takes you over to the foul zones. Before the Lao Shu showed up, their main competition, which is the Visconti. And the Visconti is the other big family in, in Berlone. And they are uh, basically like they're second in, in town. And the, this is their big time to sort of get a one up by uh, taking you, the key maiden, and now holding them holding her prisoner so <laughs> this is a very sort of like it's a very sort of political plot there's a lot that goes on also this is orlock you get introduced to him in literally uh, in the prologue uh one way or another i think all of the routes introduce you to Ro orlock right man i forgot how freaking good the music was in this game i was like sitting like kind of like a little bit mashing through it trying to get ready for the stream and I was like Ooh, I didn't remember this the music in this game is so good 
So I'm looking forward to uh, double leg up on that with 1926. Oh the main interest for me in this game is the pol the movement, like the political movement and the the struggle for power, right? Like everybody's moves are designed to sort of change or manipulate power in some way, shape, or form for the benefit of one family or one person or one group. Oh my god, look at all the more Kubo fans coming out of nowhere. Sorry, but... More Kubos on the screen. If Gilbert's not on the screen, everybody should be asking, where's Gilbert? Everybody kidnaps me and then tells me how cute I am. I need them to make up their mind. There's a lot more, there's a lot of like pretty reasonable like political slash like yeah more like political maneuvering in 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 this game than you would expect. The Atome game is like far more likely to be like Dante pulls out a gun and like kills everybody in the room and then runs away. Oh, sick! Problem solved! The end, I guess? Route done, right? I really like the interaction between Dante and Lily of, like, Lily, Lily just sort of breaking breaking him down with kindness as we've gone along. You know, when you don't play Yang's route and you see how many people like Yang, you kind of look at everybody like, oh, that's what you're into. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it'll change once you play... But maybe we'll change what you like. Yeah, I imagine it's entertaining. The character, the character's so wild. Like, yeah, I imagine it is at least entertaining. So I, I am actually like really excited to play his route eventually. It's like the same reason why uh, I've liked characters in other games, right? It's because like Yang has the farthest reach to being a love interest out of all of the characters, right? All the other ones make sense to a degree, but like Yang's like almost never does. So it's like, how do we get here? Yeah, Sudaken as a villain on top of which, even better. <laughs> Just shoot the gun. <laughs> Thanks, Dante. I appreciate it. Oh, they gave. This is what I've been asking for this entire time. I've been asking for this for like seven, eight games. Been asking for this for so long. Give the love or give the protagonist a gun. <laughs> no, I really like I really like Leo as a character. I don't know, like it, since Pio Fiori was like kind of before I started getting way into Natomes, like I'm not sure how other people feel about Leo. But I really liked him as a character. It felt like he should have had a route, but I understand why he doesn't. Like, like with the tone of how this game works. Yeah, like Leo's real cute, right? Keeper of the grave? Of the grave? Not a grave? Or the graves? The grave? Singular? The? Specific? Not general? I wonder what that I wonder what gave that away. The fact that you know about everything, or the, the fact that you're in all, all freaking white. Wow! Hard to believe, right? The church? Divide? Not only divided, but sectioned in their, in their goals? A faction of which may be corrupted? In my anime slash atome slash manga? Thanks, then you're useless. <laughs> then you're useless to me. <laughs> hey, what's up? You need the thing. What's the thing? Bye. <laughs> you turn around, you chase him outside. He's gone. Why are we believe? He just, this kid showed up out of nowhere. Said some shit, didn't help, disappeared, and every and now we're just like, oh, maybe he actually, uh, maybe everything he was saying was. Why are we believing this kid? If a kid showed up in the middle of the forest in all white, told me some shit, and then vanished into thin air, I'd be like, I'm crazy, actually. I am going nuts. Uh, Sister Sophia, uh, do do you can you possibly have more information than this dumb kid that we found in, randomly in the forest? <laughs> the eighth, the eighth sacrament is, uh, is a block of parmesan cheese. <laughs> Trust 
trying to think of most like what's the most Italian thing possible that we could put for the for the eighth sacrament? Like just a fucking just a smack of Parmesan. <laughs> Parmesan Oregano. It's just someone someone shows up uh, at the relic, right? And they're just like, would you like some Parmesan on that? And then when you tell them to stop at the exact right moment, <laughs> then the relic is revealed <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, remember this character? Did you know I was the key maiden? This shit's crazy. I don't even know what that means. Apparently, it's important. <laughs> I don't even know if it's true or not, still. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's a, a sound of happiness at a bar. Oh! She got the. She has the really well-adjusted eyes. You know, anytime you play any of the other routes in Pio Fiore, you get to, you look at Yang's route and you just go like, it is impossible for this to be a love interest. I think that's what makes Yang's route so enticing. Brother, I just saved you from a lady who's just swinging around a guando like crazy. I bet you haven't even seen, <laughs> you haven't even seen one of those before. I didn't even know what it was called before today. I just knew it was Curvy Blade. First off, uh, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate all of your guys' time. We're gearing up to Pio Fiore, Episodio 1926. That'll be out uh, September 22nd. But other than that, uh, I don't really have much to say. Appreciate all your guys' time. This was a lot of fun. And uh, hope to see you guys next week. At the least, Thank you guys for joining me this week. You guys uh, haven't played a video game just yet in this week. I know everybody's busy. I know everybody's got work to do. Everybody's got stuff that they got to take care of. But make sure to take care of yourself a little bit. Enjoy your time. Play some video games. And I'll see you sometime soon. Take it easy.